Hi, I'm Patrick Fuss. In a previous video, we discussed the basic mode of the editor. Today, we show you the expert mode. The difference between basic and expert is only in the menu and edit panel. Mainly in the tabs buttons, expression input, sysx and global. Expression input, sysx and global are all discussed in separate videos. Today we will concentrate us on the buttons tab. In basic mode we only have three items. Name, color and command. And we have only normal press. When we switch to expert mode we have normal press and press and hold. And we have two pages, page A and B. In normal press and press and hold we have several new items. To begin with we have six commands instead of one command. Then we have global, steps and group. And on the press and hold we have the hold type. Whenever you change a preset, CCs are set to the on-off state programmed in the preset step. However, there might be a situation where you like to override this. As example, I would like to this delay button to stay on its on-off state when changing presets. To do this, I enable global. Steps. I have a delay mix button here made, which has several different delay mixes. Now in normal situations, when I push this button, all three commands will be transmitted at once. I want to be transmitted only command 1 on the first push, then command 2, then command 3, and then back command 1. In a loop. To do this, I use steps. On each button press, the next command is executed and the LED changes. After the last command, it will loop back to the first command. Groups. I have here chorus, flanger, and phaser. And I have drive and fuzz. Well, I don't like them both together and I want to avoid tap dancing. So if I set chorus, flanger and phaser all in group 1 and drive and fuzz in group 2, now only one of the group can be active and will turn all other members of the group off. Press and hold. In basic mode you only have normal press. In expert mode you have additionally press and hold. By holding a button, you activate the press and hold attributes. So, in a way, this doubles the amount of buttons. The press and hold has an extra parameter which is hold type. There are four different hold types block, once, trigger only, and hold. In the left side, you see on the second line the color and the name of the press and hold. You also will see in the right button corner the hold type. Let's set button 5 to 8 to the four different hold types and check out what they do. Block, once, I get a 1, 
trigger only the T and hold. If hold type is block, only normal press will work. If hold type is once, normal press will control the flange on or off and press and hold will control the phaser. Also the LED will change to indicate the phaser is on. If I press again, that's normal press, the flange will change. Press and hold, the phaser will change. Normal press, the flange. Hold type trigger only works the same. Normal press for the rotary, press and hold for the speed. But watch, now the LED will not change. Normal press for rotary, press and hold for the speed. If hold type is hold, normal press is for turning the delay on or off. Press and hold is for switching between delay 1 and delay 2. The concept of pages will be discussed in another video.